friends for reading time with CJ. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as you can see, what I have in my hand is a super awesome book. It's called, it's a biography on Stephen Hawkins. So today we're going to read all about him and learn about him. Are you ready? All right. So this book is called Little People, Big Dreams, Stephen Hawkins, written by Madam Isabel Sanchez Vergara and illustrated by Matt Hunt. And it's published by Quattro. Little Stephen was born in Oxford, England. Just a great world war was raging. At night, he would look up at the stars and wonder what else was out there. His parents loved science, as did Stephen and his three siblings. They all ate dinner with a knife, a fork, and the company of a good book. Stephen was never at the top of the class, but at school everyone called him Einstein, like the famous scientist. One day he built a computer from clock parts and an old telephone. Curiosity always came before schoolwork with Stephen, but still he made it into the best universities in England, Oxford and Cambridge. He wanted to solve the mysteries of the universe. Stephen was busy enjoying himself studying cosmology when suddenly he started dropping things and tripping for no reason. Even his speech began hard to understand. Doctors told him that a rare disease was paralyzing his body and he had only two more years to live. Stephen felt like the whole universe was falling down around him. Instead of looking down at his feet, Stephen decided to look up at the stars. Maybe he couldn't control his body, but in order to study the universe, all he needed was his mind. His wife, Jane, stood by his side and gave him all the support he needed. They had three children and Stephen loved to give them rides on his wheelchair. Stephen turned his attention to black holes, some of the strangest and most powerful objects in the galaxy. So powerful, not even light could escape from them, or so scientists thought. But Stephen proved that black holes were not so black after all. There was a tiny light escaping from them. It was named Hawking radiation. By this time, Stephen had lost his voice and found a new one with a robotic drawl. With his new voice, he dictated a book that helped the world understand the meaning of the universe. Stephen believed that one day humans would cross galaxies to live on faraway planets. He celebrated his 65th birthday by taking a zero gravity ride with a team of astronauts, leaving his wheelchair for the first time in 40 years. By becoming the most brilliant scientist of today, little Stephen made an amazing discovery. However difficult life may seem, there is always something that you can do and succeed at. Wow, girls and boys, what a beautiful story on Stephen Hawking. I sure hope that you enjoyed this one and that you learned about him today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to purchase this book so you can read more at home, you can find the link in my description box below. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until we see each other next time, bye-bye. <laughs>